Hello friends and welcome. In this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to create waterfall charts in Power BI Desktop. Now, waterfall charts are the most interesting and perhaps most uncommon visualization that we will be seeing in our Power BI Desktop. Now, what are these waterfall charts? A waterfall chart is nothing but it helps me to show the change in a particular value over a period of time. Time. So what we have in waterfall chart is waterfall chart only have two bucket option that is first one is the category option and second one is the y axis. Now I'll always pick the time based field and drag it in the category bucket whereas wherever I have the value wherever I would like to show the value I will take it and drop it in the y axis bucket. The moment you drop all these two fields in the proper bucket you'll get a proper visualization like this now in this visualization by default whenever there is a rise in the value it will be always indicated by the green uh, green bar by default and whenever there is a dip in the value whenever there is a fall in the value it will be shown with the red bar by default now let's go ahead and see how we create this waterfall chart in our practical approach Hello friends and welcome. In this video, we are going to see how to create waterfall charts in Power BI. Alright, so let me quickly show you how it is done. Under the visualization pane, I have something called as waterfall chart, right? I'll simply click on it. I will be having a blank chart here in itself. Uh, I will go under the date tab or under the date uh, section, the date table and I'll select the year and under the sales fact uh, table I will go ahead and select the revenue uh, sales variant which I need to drag it in the y-axis so I will drag this in y-axis and let's take the year and the category so basically what it is showing you now let me maximize this little bit so that we can all have an understanding so what it is showing you over this period of years what has been the revenue that has been generated that is year-to-date revenue sales variance so that is what YTD sales is talking about it's year-to-date sales variance so it is showing you what is the sales YTD sales for each and every year and it is showing you over the period of this timeline now out here the last bar that you see is basically the total of all these variants so it is taking the total of all these bars together and getting me the total if I do not want to see this total bar and I just want to see the flow of it whether we are going up or whether it's going down I simply have to go under this particular format section and under this format section I will go to the sentiment colors as you can see if there is an increase it's always already showing you in the green bars right if, if there is a decrease in this it will show you in the red bars and total is represented by the blue color if you do not want it I will simply make it white so that it gets faded along I'll make it more white so that it cannot be seen at all alright so what we have done out here that we have faded the color of uh, this total in such a way that it cannot be seen and only my projection can be seen out here so this is what you can do and this is how you can prepare a waterfall chart in Power BI let me take you uh, take you through with a simple example in Power BI so I will simply delete this uh, particular section and we'll create a waterfall chart again but this time we will be doing it uh, for different uh, different Indian states and how it is uh, showing me the revenue for it so I'll simply take the states drag it here all right I will get the bunch of options okay and I'll get the revenue and drag it back here so automatically it is in the uh, y-axis uh, that is it is showing you the rev uh, revenue in the y-axis and in the x-axis it has automatically taken the different categories that my different states remember guys if I want to see the table related to this so I simply have to select on click on this button so automatically uh, it is showing me the report by the states and it is showing me in a bigger format if I would like to see the values for it so I will click on this drop down menu and say click on show data the moment I click on show data at the bottom of it I can see the data which is related to this and the waterfall chart right in front of you so I can make the changes accordingly and see how this thing particular is working according to my uh, table so I have the table and the waterfall chart right in front of me so that I do not have to refer to the uh, data sheet view right if we click on this it 
takes me back to the data tab in which I have the table given in the tabular format. So in this particular visualization, I have the waterfall charts also and I have the its uh, table associated with it. All right, so isn't that simple guys to make a waterfall chart in Power BI? All right, so this was all about this video. See you until next time.